Last night, the Arizona Coyotes concluded their four-game road trip at the Saddle Dome in Ottawa, Ontario against the Senators. The Coyotes looked to take advantage against the slumping Senators team that was desperately looking to turn things around. Coyotes players Oliver ekman Larson and Jordan Oysterly each scored for their squad while goalie Antti Ranta collected 28 saves. But it wasn't enough as Senators goalie Marcus Hogberg ended up with 32 saves and helped the Senators break off a six-game skid by defeating the Coyotes 3-2. The Coyotes look to get back in the win column as they shift their attention toward tomorrow night's game against the Capitals to start their first of a two-game home stretch. I think in the second period we did a pretty good job. Um, felt like we controlled the play for the most part, but um, slipped up there a little bit in the third and uh, got away from us. And um, it's tough when you dig yourself a hole early on, and um, I mean, it's unfortunate. But um, I think we, after those first two goals in that first ten minutes, we battled pretty hard and. Um, Obviously, unfortunate with the result. You know, the game plan was there. Ottawa likes throwing pucks in the net, and you know, just uh, didn't box out. I thought Rance could have helped out on the on the dump on the first one, uh, but other than that, you know, it's, we're chasing the game after that. You know, we had a great second. Their goalie played really good, really good uh, in the second period, especially. Two nights ago, the Phoenix Suns wrapped up their final game before the All-Star break at Talking Stick Resort Arena as they faced off against the Golden State Warriors. The Suns were without some of their key contributors as DeAndre Ayton, Aaron Baines, and Dario Saric were sidelined with injuries. To snap their two-game skid, they needed a complete game from their All-Star player Devin Booker and they got it. With Booker finishing the game with 27 points and getting help from teammates Mikel Bridges who dropped 14 points and Kelly Oubre who dropped 15 points, the Suns were able to stand tall against the Warriors and Andrew Wiggins' 27 points to come away with a 112-106 victory. The Suns look to add more wins in the win column in the second half of the season to keep their playoff hopes alive as they take on the Raptors after the All-Star break on February 21st to start their first of their three-game road stretch. For AZ Sports Box, I'm Franklin Miller.